Flute Flucatronic. Up now we're going to do an unboxing video of my latest flute. Me and my buddy here are going to see what we got in the mail yesterday. So I've uh, done a little bit of the untaping, but it will be our first look at a new shall from Jeffrey Ellis. So first off in the package, we've got a flute care kit, some beeswax, and steel wool. And then got a big long triangle box here. Sturdy cardboard too. Yeah. Nice uh, fabric bag here. All right, all right. Okay, so what we have here is a redwood key of C, or as the Chinese would call it, key of F. Some mostly straight grain redwood. It's all one piece. Uh, it's not jointed. It's um, kind of carved to look like bamboo. And this thing is incredibly lightweight. Uh, the reason we wanted to go with, or I wanted to go with redwood, was because of that that weight. It's about four and a half ounces, and I haven't weighed this one, but my old one was um, right about the same weight for a D shorter. So this um, redwood, really lightweight. Well, let's uh, let's see what it sounds like. If we can get a sound out of it, you never know with these rim blowns, um can be tricky to find the sound. Um, looks very similar. Well, let's see if we can get a uh, sound out of it, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, pretty easy to get a sound. Uh, obviously, every rim blown takes a little practice to figure out uh, just the right sweet spot, but you know, right out of the box, we're getting music out of it. Sounds anyway. Okay, let's talk about it a little bit. Um, so Jeffrey told me that this is a slightly different design that, that he's been doing. A little bit narrower bore. Um, so the tuning between the octave is supposed to be a little bit better. Uh, you get a little bit softer voice on the, the low end. And also the mouthpiece has changed very slightly. Um, uh, he said he did that based on a uh, professional sample he, he was uh, looking at from a fellow shop player uh, brought back from China. And uh, this is going to be his new design going forward. Um, so, yeah. Can't fault him on any of those design choices. I mean, I can't get over how light this thing is. This is, um, this is just great. All right, let's see, uh, see if we can play something for real on it.
My upper register um, still takes some work. Um, I'm not all that good at the upper register yet on, um, on my D shell or the other um, C Chinese shell I have. Um, so I won't fault the flute on that. I'm sure that's just me. Yeah, the tone is really nice, um, all the way down to the D at least. I am having a little bit of trouble out of the box getting that low note, but we kind of expected that uh, with the new design. Um, but we'll work, we'll, we'll work on it. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely needs a little more open tone, open mouth, um, uh, softer breath, but uh, yeah, we'll get it. definitely see what Jeffrey means about the balance between the octaves. Uh, I can see right there just going uh, from, from the D note. Uh, it's very even. Uh, maybe that's enough for today. Uh, we'll come back and uh, get some practice under, under my belt with the new shell. We'll come back with some co comparisons with the, uh, the other Ellis D shell and the other C shell. But for now, uh, thanks.